Hello YouTube, Swiss Gear Labs here. Last year I made a video on the trucker's hitch in my bushcraft knot tutorial and um, there I showed you the standard version. Today I'd like to show you two variants or two alternatives for the standard version and I will tell you why uh, there should be alternatives. Now if you look at the standard version you see that there's actually two quick release knots. The first one and the second one and it's exactly that second knot that we're going to talk about the reason why this second knot can be a problem you can see when you try to uh, release it this loop here is going to be pulled through another loop which goes around here and if this knot has been under a lot of tension it gets very tight around here, so you'll have uh, trouble to actually pull this loop through here. Uh, in a very bad case, let's say quite a thick rope and a lot of tension, you actually take the risk of damaging uh, this loop. And this is exactly the reason why I would like to introduce you, introduce you the alternatives, because the second knot, this knot here, will be done in a way so it can be released after a lot of tension. Even though it's not uh, a quick release knot, I think it's a valid alternative. The first variant is the butterfly knot. And the butterfly knot I also have showed you in the in the bushcraft tutorial last year. Now you start with a with a loop and then it's an easy way to finish it. You just twist it around. And you can see that you have basically a double loop and the cross lines. You then pull just one side through the double loop and you end up with your with your butterfly knot. Make sure that you have two parallel lines here and basically two loops here. These loops are important when you release the knot again. Then you just go around your object and here we go. We have our trucker hitch. To release this knot, we pull on the first knot, which is quick release. Then we turn it around and it just pull these loops to the side. This is going very easily at, the, at present because there was not a lot of tension here. This can be quite hard when a lot of tension was applied, but this always works. And then you just pull through the loop and the, the knot is completely undone. One reason why I like this knot butterfly to use in a trucker's hitch is because if you undo it, even if you if you if you are under uh, you know time pressure or if you're under tension, you never can end up in a situation like this. You know, if you if you don't undo your knot correctly, depending on the knot, you can end up in a situation like this and I don't like that because sometimes you don't see that and then you have a knot in your rope. This cannot happen with the butterfly because you never do anything where you have to pull the whole uh, uh, rest of the rope through through a loop. The second alternative um, to make the trucker's hitch is uh, using a bowline. Now I do the bowline by making a simple loop and then you pull some rope through this loop and it's the part of the rope which is not towards the, the object, towards the object where you want to go. So loop with another loop, then you take the end of the line and you make a loop like this. This is exactly the same way of making the bow line as I showed you in the in the first tutorial. And here again you go around your object and we have your trucker hitch. To undo this knot you move this part of the knot. If you look at it very carefully it's the it's the it's the loop going through the back here. You pull on that one then you can release it quite easily. Now the problem with this knot is if you don't do undo it correctly 
you can end up with a knot like this. That's the reason why I prefer the, the butterfly knot. Once in a while I, I, I use this one here, the bowline, because I can do the bowline very fastly, very quickly. But actually the, the, the butterfly is better. Thanks for watching, I hope it was interesting and catch you next time. Bye bye!